It is difficult to even imagine that only four years have passed. I remember vividly the wild wonderment and celebration that ensued from November to January of 2017. I also remember half the country was in disbelief and dismay. My heart went out to them. They had believed everything they'd been promised. And now, how could this have happened? My friends did not understand my holding back from shouts of joy. We're saved. Our country's gonna be great again. And I tried even gently to say, no, we're not saved, and America most likely will never be great again. But God gave us this president. God will save us, and he'll use this president to do it. Okay, okay, maybe you're right. Maybe all the other signs of the end of the age, well, they'll all go away once we're great again. However, I kept saying, there's a train coming. And just because it's been slowed down doesn't mean it ain't going to hit. We here have been given our reprieve. We had four years to get ready for what most people see is coming now. I believe the train hit today. And if you're not ready, well, like any train wreck, it'll take a while for the cars to pile up. So you've still got some time, a small window, to gird your loins. In Isaiah, it says, women roll over them. This was a judgment not a reward. We in America are just a breath away from that judgment. Isaiah also says this, Tell the righteous that it shall be well with them, for they shall eat the fruit of their deeds. What then shall we do? How will we live? When judgment comes, it will be for the wicked. We should separate ourselves, come out of those places thick with evil deeds. For surely, the closer you are, the more of this judgment you will experience. We have been called out. What if Lot had stayed put in Sodom? What if Noah had procrastinated building the ark? What if the Hebrews refused? to come out of Egypt. Come out of her, my people, that you will not experience the plagues, the judgment that is coming. For those misled to believe that we would get tired of winning, we didn't. And now, if you can, as much as you can, get ready. We have had our reprieve and the train wreck has begun. I suggest that you run. Run as fast as you can to the only safe haven there is. Into the arms of Yeshua, our great shepherd, our coming king. Pour out your heart to him. Pour in his word. His entire Genesis to Revelation written word into your life like your life depended on it because it does. There is truth. There is hope and true love but it is only found in the living word. That simple book laying dusty on the table has everything you need to survive what's coming. Begin now to feast and feel your strength being renewed. And we can do this. We can pray. And we can be a blessing, a light in a dark world. We can ask without fear or pride 
that Father Elohim's will be done on earth as it is in the Shamim. His will here as it is in heaven. And we will know our prayers have been heard when we begin to see the prophecies in His Word fulfilled, which for those called according to His purpose is the rich bounty of belief that sustains us and makes our hearts cry out, O oh, Adonai, Yeshua, come quickly. The coming days. The coming days are promising to be difficult. Many hard decisions will have to be made. We will need wisdom as never before. Discernment that can only come from the Ruach HaKodesh. In a world of lies and deceit, prepare yourself to be a rebel by believing in one truth, Yeshua, the way. Yeshua, the truth, and the only way to eternal life spent in the presence of a Kodesh Elohim. Remember, Havarim, the battle you see with your eyes is being fought in the spirit world. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of Elohim, praying at all times in the Ruach with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints and also for me. Amen.